In this problem we have z equals f of x over y and we're going to find two things. We're going to find del z del x and del z del y. So del z del x is the partial with respect to x and del z del y is the partial with respect to y. So we're going to use the chain rule. Basically we have an outside function that's f and we have this inside function uh, x over y. So to do this first part uh, with respect to x I'm going to think of it like this. Let's think of it just like this. And the reason is when we use the chain rule, we're going to have to take the derivative of the outside and then multiply by the derivative of the inside. And so the point is whenever you're differentiating with respect to x, all of the y's are constants. So this piece here is going to be a number, so it's going to hang out. So let's do it. We take the derivative of the outside. We leave the inside untouched. Okay. And then times, now thinking of the inside piece like this, the derivative of x is 1, the 1 over y is a constant, so we just get 1 over y. So the answer here is just 1 over y, f prime of x over y. Again, when you differentiate with respect to x, all of your y's are constants. Del z del y, now all of our x's are constants. So we're going to have to multiply by the derivative of the inside. So it might be beneficial to write it like this now. You see, that way you can differentiate the y a little more easily. Because if it's on the bottom, it's a little bit harder to use the power rule. So bring it up. So take the derivative of f, leave the inside untouched, and then times the derivative of your inside, which is this. The x is a constant because you're differentiating with respect to y. So you bring down the negative, and you get x, y to the negative 2. Really, really nice problem. Um, I guess we can write it like this now. How about, let's put the x in the front, and then f prime of x over y. And then we can divide by the y squared like this. Good stuff. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.